Welcome to today's deep dive into one of the Bible's most enigmatic and profound books, the Book of Job. This text not only explores the nature of human suffering but also challenges our perceptions of justice, faith, and divine intention. The Book of Job is an ancient poem embedded within a prose framework, part of the wisdom literature of the Bible, which includes Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and the Song of Solomon. It begins with a heavenly wager between Satan and God over the righteousness of Job, a wealthy and devout man. Satan contends that Job is faithful only because he has been blessed with abundant prosperity and health. God allows Satan to test this claim by stripping Job of his wealth, his family, and his health. As we journey through Job's story, we encounter three friends, Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophar, who come to comfort him. However, their comfort quickly turns into criticism as they argue that Job's suffering must be a punishment for sin, despite Job's consistent righteousness. This dialogue forms the core of the book, consisting of cycles of speeches that delve into the themes of divine justice and human suffering. Job's lamentations and his discourse with his friends are profound, questioning the justice of a God who allows the righteous to suffer while the wicked thrive. Job's friends maintain a retributive view of suffering, asserting that suffering is a punishment for sin and prosperity is a reward for virtue. Job challenges this view, maintaining his innocence and demanding an explanation from God. The climax of the book occurs when God finally speaks out of a whirlwind. God's response to Job is not a direct answer to his questions, but rather a series of more questions that highlight the vastness of God's creation and the limitations of human understanding. God asks Job, where were you when I laid the earth's foundation, and proceeds to describe the wonders of the natural world and the universe, which are beyond human comprehension and control. This response can be perplexing because it doesn't address Job's suffering directly. Instead, it places human life within the context of a larger cosmic order that is unfathomable and governed by divine wisdom. It suggests that just as humans do not understand the complexities of the natural world, they may not be able to comprehend the complexities of divine justice. After God's speech, Job responds with humility, recognizing his limitations and retracting his previous statements made in anguish. He admits, I spoke of things I did not understand, things too wonderful for me to know. Job's response indicates a transformation from questioning to submission, acknowledging the sovereignty and mystery of God. The narrative concludes with God restoring Job's fortunes, doubling his previous wealth, and blessing him with a new family. This restoration can be seen as a vindication of Job's righteousness and an affirmation of God's justice and mercy, although it still leaves many questions unanswered about the nature of suffering. The book of Job does not provide clear answers to why the righteous suffer, but it offers profound insights into the way humans perceive and interact with the divine. It challenges the simplistic notion of retributive justice and invites a more nuanced understanding of divine operation in the world. The dialogues in Job encourage readers to wrestle with these questions, reflecting on their own experiences of suffering and their understanding of God. In modern interpretations, the book of Job continues to resonate with anyone who has experienced inexplicable suffering or witnessed injustices that defy easy explanations. It serves as a reminder that the human perspective is limited and that faith sometimes requires acknowledging the mysteries and complexities of life without fully understanding them. Job's story is a testament to the endurance of faith through suffering and the importance of humility in the search for understanding. It invites us to consider our place within the grand scheme of creation, urging us to live righteously and humbly in a world that often appears both beautiful and unjust. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the Book of Job, a text that challenges, comforts, and compels us to look beyond our understanding, embracing the mysteries of faith and the complexities of divine justice.